Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, if you are a patron, is brought to you again by you, because you are awesome. Starting at just a dollar a month, updated daily, you automatically get entered into the monthly prize package. You know, you can win gnarly items. I, I work really hard to make sure you also have awesome daily new music. And yeah, anyways, Infernal Hails and Gratitude. Released on Extremely Rotten Productions and hailing from the mighty Finland, we have The Gathering of Souls EP by Malformed. Now, before I get into how badass of a slab of finished death metal this is, because if you love finished death metal, this has you covered so well. Like, it's... If I didn't know better, and somebody was like, yo, check out this 1992 EP by this band, I'd be like, wow. Because legitimately, like, the production, everything about this sounds like all, like, my Finnish 90s stuff on tape. It's sick. Like, I... I don't know... Hold on, real quick. I was looking for just a familiar name when it came to uh, the production. But, um... Uh, ah... Uh, Everybody's name is very hard to pronounce. But uh, we missed the opening track, Drowning in Emptiness. The Gathering of Souls just played. Defiled Enchantments of Nihilism. And Mind Refinery make up this bad boy. Seriously, like I was going to get the LP of this. Caligari had it for like 22, but I ended up getting... The three cassettes, and it ended up being the same price, like, from the Caligari update, the Sonic Poison, and, uh, oh my goodness, I, I, like, just went over it. Why does my brain do this? Oh, well, I, I know why, but, oh, Excarnated Entity, I was listening to it last night. They say it's right next to the tape deck. But I was going to get this, the vinyl version, but I just figured, let's get... Because this was on the patron list, the new Sonic Poison, as was the new X the Excarnated Entity. Full length has been on for a couple of months now. And I know people want me to grab the LP version. And I eventually will. But right now, like, the Helios stuff, the new Head Split stuff, the new Necrot, the new Witch Vomit, and then we can get back to, like, that type of stuff. But Malform play, like, legitimate, straight up. Finish death metal. I, I like. I don't want to compare it to like demigod, but like, cause like it's not like demi lich where it's all like insane, and the vocals are insane, and it's just very death metal, and that's what I I, I love about it because it's. There's no bullshit. It's just like, yeah, we're a death metal band. But, there's one little thing here that cosmetically, as much as I love the cover, like, legitimately, I, I love 
when there's just a, like a little monster. Wait till you see the accursed wound full length cover. Like I'm not I'm not even dropping the the album title. I'll put it this way: the album title took me a year to settle on. A year of like here's three titles that I'm like, all right, it's gonna be one of these three, and finally. After seeing the finished painting, I was like, alright, here's the short list of bank of uh, album titles and track titles. So I gave it the pat and we both had the same title idea. Like we both had the one as like we, we probably should name it that. And then I asked a couple close friends of mine, including, like, someone that's probably going to have to add a little Photoshop to the painting, meaning, like, adding the title of the album. But part of me was thinking... And I was listening to Bolzer Hero. And I was thinking, I was like, well, like, this is the only thing on here that says that this is a Bolzer album, aside from... Wait, is it even on the spine? Yeah, it's on the spine here. For some reason, I thought it actually wasn't on the spine. But, like, to me... Ballsy, ballsy move, but at the end of the day, look at how sick that looks. Like, not having the logo. Like, I just, I, I don't know. I was looking at this, and I was thinking, because when you see the cover, you're going to be like, oh, because it's kind of like the shirt I'm wearing, honestly. The, um, fucking carcinoid charnel altar split. Because this is the cover art. Um, more than positive, it does not tell you the band names. I, I can, I'll check real fast. And then I'll show you the cosmetic thing I was talking about. Uh... Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. I just drew a blank. Yeah, sick. Oh. See, I... Twins, but... No, like, having... Like, I kind of want to... Like... Put our logo on the back with a promo photo and a track list and just have the cover be the cover. But I, I don't know. This isn't the cover. R.I.P. Boomer Cult, the great artist. I would have loved to have him work on our album, but what we have, um, I can't wait to share. Like, I'm not allowed to share yet, but I can't wait to share. And I'm sorry, I've been talking way too much about A Cursed Womb instead of Malform, but real quick, speaking of twins, now, I know this is two different artists. So, I'm just going to kind of chalk this up to coincidence. Here's Bone Sickness, Theater of Morbidity, vinyl. And yes, this...
thanks to my friend Aaron for figuring out how to get these warped SLPs to play. Like, he did this, like, thing with, like, a dishwasher, and, yeah, he really fixed, like, how wobbly these were. Like, talk about a nightmare, and this is the version with the samples, this is not the Caligari reissue, this is the original with samples and everything, but it was pulled from shelves because it was all warped and wonky and just never got reissued. This is one of the best slabs of grind, like, ever, and it's kind of forgotten about, sadly, but here's what I'm talking about. And again, it's just a little coincidence. But I'm such a fucking nerd, it was like the first thing that caught my attention. There's so many good riffs on this fucking EP. I, I can't wait for more from Malformed. Like, keep it up. Like, I'll put it this way, uh... Like, early corpse Like, the dagger and the chalice. Even up to, like, succumb to rot, it's, like, kind of corpse vibes at times. There's some gorephilia vibes, which is always awesome. Underrated, by the way. Always feel like people just skip over in the eye of nothing. But Severed Monolith, I mean, come on. If you don't like Severed Monolith, I, I can't help you. Like, legit, I, I don't know what to tell you. And if you don't like Corpse or like Crypts, I don't know what to tell you, but that's a different style of Finnish death metal. And if you're like, what? Well, yeah, it's a completely different style. That's more death doom. And as usual, extremely rotten, killing it with the pro tapes. Real nice hard shell. I just love how they, like, aside from, I think I have a few releases where they used, like, the band's logo as font, and they might be, like, earlier releases. One, one second. It's just gonna bother me if I don't check. Let me just check this Anatomia. Yeah. Like... Dissected Humanity has the actual Anatomia logo, but still has, like, the ERP in, like, the typewriter font and stuff. Hell, like, that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, the Excarnated Entity demo has the band logo. My, the Demi-Lich Nespeth reissue, which I actually should, I'm gonna throw that on after today's video. I think even my Dr. Shrinker, but... Demi Lich. Like, I love the Demi Lich cosmetics. Like, the pro tape. Everything about it. But also, the fact that they kept the typewriter font. Like, even where it says Nespeth, like... Hell, yeah. Dave at ERP is just the man. He knows his tunes. And when it comes to cassette tapes, like, Head Split and ERP, I feel, along with Caligari, 
just like put all just there's just you could tell the tender love and care that goes into it is just a little bit extra than some other labels. But real quickly, twins. But not really. He has. Well, this uh, sentient blob has two legs. This one has four legs. But I just, like, when I first saw it, I was like, why does that look familiar? And then I, I like, legit was like, oh, as I have the bone sickness flag right right here so i i just kind of looked over and i was like oh the monster has a twin i'm not talking shit i'm just i'm just pointing it out okay i thought it was actually pretty cool because part of me was like, whoa, is that the same monster? And then I realized it wasn't because Cal Dickinson, I think it was, yeah, Cal Dickinson did the cover art for Theater of Morbidity. It's such a good, like, dude, come on. Somebody needs to do a proper 12-inch release with the samples on vinyl like, do not get me wrong. Like, I am grateful to even have this. But I wish it just played perfectly. This thing is like the ocean. But, like, you can get through it. And that's what's awesome about it. But, like, at the same time, like, what a bummer. Like, it's it shit, like, cause, and here's what I was told by a member of the band, I'm not gonna say who, but when all, when this happened and all the LPs got recalled, they still sent me a, 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 a new copy and were like, well, try this one. So I appreciate that they were like, huh, like, that's weird. But it wasn't weird, because 20 Bucks Spin took their copies down immediately. Because I was like, whoa. Because that was how I first found out. I I just, like, checked 20 Bucks, like, I was, I was, like, looking for something on 20 Bucks Spin. And I was like, I was actually looking for, oh, because they, I, okay. I'm sorry, Malformed. Real quick. The Gathering of Souls EP. If you like Finnish death metal, like, you're gonna fucking love this. But if you're looking for some weird Finnish death metal, no. Like, listen to some Demi Lich. But, like, more... I'd, like, I'd say more like Demigod. It's, again, like, it's it's just kind of meat and potatoes death metal, which I, I love. There's no wonky, you know, guitar solos or, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no noodling. Like, the riffs are riffs. I feel like a lot of the times, like, people forget, like, how important riffs R-I-F-F-S-R to extreme music. Like, it just hurts my head sometimes when I hear a band and people are like, oh, it's so sick. And I'm just like, dude, it's just a bunch of breakdowns. Like, there's, there's no real, like, riffs leading into the breakdowns that are like, yo, that's sick. And that breakdown riff fucking sucks. It's been used a thousand times. How many? Like, dun 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 dun. dun. Like, shut, stop! Don't don't do that. Unless you're, you know, 
But this was one of those releases where, to me, it's a modern classic that just sadly got a bad vinyl press. And when it was reissued by Caligari, I never asked. I was just grateful to have the songs. But I never asked, hey, what happened to the samples? Because the samples were some of my favorite, like, and that it sounds kind of lame, but some of my favorite parts, and one of the reasons that this is such a classic, is the samples. So, I just thought it was kind of strange, but I figured maybe it was some, like, legal thing, but... So many bands get away with, like, modern samples. Like, I forget what Ascendancy used, like, the Batman. And, 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 like, from uh, the Tim Burton Batman. They, like, used a little sample on Demo 2. So, like, I don't know. I'm sorry, though. Finland's Malformed on Extremely Rotten Productions. Again, straight up, straightforward death metal for fans of death metal. But if I'm going to compare this, like I said, like... Demigod, Gorphelia, Corpsest. It's straight... It's something that would be on Dark Descent Records. If you're a fan of Dark Descent Records, you're going to be a fan of this. Because it's like a band that I, I really, you know, assume would be on. When they put out their full length, I'll put money... Well, friendly bet this will be on Dark Descent when they do a full length. Because MSUO will probably do the vinyl and then Dark Descent will get... Like a couple, like a hundred copies or whatever they get, but malformed, definitely one of my favorite modern Finnish death metal bands. Look at these demons. Fuck yeah. Uh, and M malformed is Itu Havonen, guitars and lead vocals. Askeli Lindros, guitar and backing vocals. Pauli Niami, bass and vocals, and Janny Seppi on drums. Fucking sick shit on the Gathering of Souls EP. Check it out. Program repeats on the second side. I don't know how the 12 inch works. I don't know if there's like an etching on the B side. I probably should have looked into that. But part of me pr thinks, like, maybe it's just, like, uh, um, hold on. Where is the, uh, I just want to grab this obscurity, uh, 12-inch. It, it might be like this, but this is four tracks, but, like, one side might have, like, three songs on it, and one might have... Two sides, you know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I didn't look it up, but this program repeats itself. So if you're feeling lazy, just get the cassette version. <laughs> but again, if you're looking for some killer death metal, all killer, no filler, straightforward, no bullshit. No pig noises, just regular death metal vocals that kick ass, though. Like, I'm not talking stock. I mean, when I think of death metal vocals, I kind of, it, it, there's no, like, you know, vomiting, like, it's fucking death metal, and it's good. That's all that matters. So, I, I was really stoked on Malformed, and I was glad that other people were like, yo, you should grab the Malformed EP. So, thank you to the patron. Because, like, I, I had checked it out and posted it, but I didn't hear anything for, like, a couple days. And then I guess someone 
was catching up on the patron, and they were like, yo, like, and they, they sent me the link in the DM, and they were like, do you have that? And I, I said, no, I do not, like, I see that Caligari has it, because, like, most of the order was, like, already situated and whatnot, and it was a late edition, and I'm glad I chose the cassette version so we could get Grinded Leftovers and the Excarnated Entity Mass Grave Horizon full length on tape. Because it, it just, it just would have been, like, the same price just for the 12-inch, so it just made sense economically you know, economically for the channel. So, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Listen to Malformed. Enjoy. And if you want to support the channel, $1 a month. Join the Patreon. Automatically get entered in the monthly contest. Daily updated. Win, win, win. Thanks for watching again. You fucking rule. Hails and peace. <coughs>